everyone. Welcome back to Exploring the Coast with Hannah. Today we're going to be looking at some amazing adaptations of different intertidal species. Let's go. The first species we're going to look at are barnacles. Barnacles build a shell around their bodies for protection and shelter and can usually be found in the high zone areas of the intertidal. Barnacles are related to shrimp and crabs. Unlike most of their relatives, barnacles cement their heads to the bottom of the shell or rock. Barnacles feed using their legs to protect themselves from being eaten by predators. If one of their legs gets eaten or broken off, they can regrow them. Next up are chitons. Chitons are mollusks and they attach themselves to rocks and other animals using their mantle or foot. They have eight overlapping plates on the tops of their bodies. These offer protection against predators like birds. The plates also allow them to fit into small nooks and crannies in or on rocks to hide. Many chitin species have very elaborate colorations that help them blend into their environment. Here we have the largest chitin species, which is called a gumboot chitin. They are one of a few chitin species whose plates are completely covered by their mantle and are not visible. Mussels are bivalves, meaning they have two shells like clams and oysters. They close their shells to keep them from drying out during prolonged exposure to the sun, air, wind, and predators as the tide goes out. They create what is known as bissel threads. They make these bissel threads by releasing silky fibers from their mantle that allows them to attach to rocks and other mussels. This prevents the mussels from being knocked off rocks by waves and debris. Urchins are echinoderms, which means they are animals that have spiny skin. They use these spines as a defense against predators. The spines also have other functions, which includes helping bring food down to the urchin's mouth. It also can be a means of locomotion that urchins use to help them move from one place to another. And as you can see in these pictures, they use their spines to gather shells, or in some cases, like in the picture on the right, leaves to cover themselves as a means of camouflage and to protect themselves from the sun, wind, and air when exposed during low tides. Urchins also have two feet that help them catch their food. They have five teeth that scientists call Aristotle's lantern. Urchins use them to scrape against the rocks to make beds for them to live in. Anemones are soft-bodied animals that tend to stay in the same place for most of their lives. When the tide goes out, they close their mouths to keep them from drying out when out of water. Anemones will cover themselves up with sand, rocks, shells, and debris to also keep them from drying out as well as camouflaging themselves against predators. Anemones are cnidarians, which means they have tentacles that have stinging cells in them, just like jellies, that help them stun and catch their prey. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget a new video of Exploring the Coast with Hannah drops every Tuesday at 11 a.m. on the Pacific Grove Museum of Natural History's website on the Museum to You page.